Hello everybody and welcome to Romance Bulls Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading and it is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody so it's really important that you take whatever resonates with you and you leave the rest of it aside. If ever you feel as though it doesn't quite resonate, it's not quite right with you, that's okay. It's a general reading so just toss it to the side. It's better like that and to receive a message that just doesn't belong to you. Uh, that being said, if ever in the messages only one corresponds to you, perfect. Take that one. If it's all three, even better. Take whatever's good for you. The rest of it, toss it aside. Um, if ever you would like to have your own personal reading, you can contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and it will be my great pleasure to send you the different type of readings that I can offer you so we can find those answers that you're seeking for. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do take a brief moment of your time to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it would be greatly appreciated. So with no further ado we're going to begin this reading. Um, this reading here before prior to um, recording I have channeled your past loved ones for the beautiful sign of Gemini. So my dear friend Gemini I have I have channeled your um, loved ones, your past loved ones um, to give you some messages, uh, some warnings, maybe some things that you have to um, change upon your path or that you have to modify so maybe that your path is a little bit less bumpy. Um, sometimes it's things that we're not uh, quite conscious of. Um, so these are three messages coming from them for you and I'm going to finish it off with an oracle card at the very ending. So um, I'm going to turn these over and we're going to begin. So we're going to be talking about balance, we're going to be talking about grief, and we're going to be talking about courage. So let's begin with the very first one that I do see here, and that is the balance. So let's begin over here with balance. Now, this is about bringing a state of perfect harmony into your world and doing it without any judgment. Balance means bringing a sense of stability and wholeness into every area of your life. Now, many times when you look at a situation objectively, you will resonate with one side more than the other. Try not to view either as good or as bad. Let's not categorize, okay? But simply recognize that it is, that's it. The true nature of the scale of balance is to give both sides of a situation your equitable, objective perspective. It can be difficult to understand the side that you don't relate to, but that is a lesson in itself. Now, what is it about you that prevents you from giving both sides of the coin your non-judgmental assessment? The situation or person has been placed in your path to teach you that everyone has his or her own unique, authentic life story and you must put yourself in that person's shoes to really understand his or her motivation. Now balance is a godly virtue and if it is a struck, you will reap the benefits of insight and compassion and this is what your past loved ones want you to have. They want you to have the benefits of the insight and of the compassion. They want to bring that state of harmony into your world. We're now going to be moving off to um, the following message, which is about grief. They understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Nothing is gone forever. The belief that we have lost someone or something is merely an illusion to assist us in learning to appreciate our having had into the first place. The emotion of grief and the sense of loss are absolutely real, but that is the point. The lesson of loss is not about the actual physical separation because the parting is quite temporary and it is illusory. The point of the lesson is to acknowledge that the bonds of love never end and that we have not been abandoned. You have not been abandoned. The, um, the links, the bonds of love never end. 
when you accept in your heart that you will be reunited with everything that you have and everyone that you have ever loved, it will give you the ability to move beyond your grief and derive something beneficial from that experience. To wallow in grief is to pass up the opportunity that you and your soul family have devised and learn nothing from it. Instead, allow your grief to take you to a place of deeper understanding. But you know that we always love you. We are always there for you every single step of the way. Now we're going to move on to the courage. This is about finding the inner strength to face that fear, to face the problems that we have within our life, those issues, those conflicts with courage. Finding the inner strength to face fear with confidence, you need to remind yourself that part of the challenge of being a soul is learning to honor your own power. By listening to your inner voice and following its advice, you are acknowledging the perfection of your intuition. Fear is only an illusion and obstacles are great opportunities for you to demonstrate that coming from a place of love will conquer all of fear's disguises. All. Perhaps you are changing career paths or you're entering, entering or exiting a relationship. This test has been put before you because it is an opportunity to prove to yourself that you and only you can make the correct decision. By not taking that step forward, you may find yourself two steps back. Your past loved ones don't want that to happen. They don't want you to end up two steps back. Only to face that same obstacle again. So be very, very careful. You must work on your courage. Now we're going to finish this off with the Oracle deck over here. So we have the Oracle card and the Oracle card is all about your journey within. The physical body is a product of this material dimension and it is created on earth using elements like carbon, hydrogen, calcium. It is very vulnerable is what, you know, I want to say here. It has limitations and a finite lifespan. Your higher self has chosen to inhabit it and to have experiences that the spirit world does not offer. It is not r the real you and what you see in the mirror is only a vehicle. The real you is perfect. It is limitless. It is eternal. It is connected to everyone and everything that you see and the ability to contact your past loved ones, your guides and their knowledge is omnipresent. You must know that at all times, but you must do your part to access their wisdom. This is all about, it's a message, okay? They're trying to encourage you to be receptive to the guidance that is your birthright. Meditation, sitting in silence, asking to receive advice during the dream state are all ways to establish contact with your higher self and the guides. You need to use these tools that have been granted to you. Don't be discouraged by the earthly distractions that are placed between you and the guides. Practice developing this sacred relationship and you'll find that life is going to become much easier when you have daily communication with your guides. This, my dear friend Gemini, does conclude your beautiful reading with your past loved ones. I do hope that you were able to connect. I hope that you got some interesting messages that resonated with you. Um, if you do have any questions or you would like a reading, romancefultarot at gmail.com. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for following readings. And I do wish you a beautiful day filled of love, courage, and strength. And I will see you tomorrow with another message.